Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel where I review the latest episodes of Foundation, the epic sci-fi series based on Isaac Asimov's novels. In this video, I'm going to talk about Season 2 Episode 7 titled A Necessary Death, which was released on August 25, 2023 on Apple TV Plus One. This episode was full of twists and turns, and it set the stage for an exciting finale. If you haven't watched the episode yet, be warned that this video contains major spoilers. So, without further ado, let's get into it. The episode begins with Salvor Hardin, Lee Harvey, the Warden of Terminus, arriving at Ignis. Before continue, I request you to subscribe our channel and press on the bell icon button for new videos notifications on time. The Planet of the Mentelix. She is accompanied by Gail Dornick, Lou Lobel, a mathematician who claims to be Hari Seldon's Jared Harris, protege. They are greeted by Tellum, Natalie Dormer, the leader of the Mentalics, who claims to be a fan of Harry Seldon and his psychohistory. Tellum tells them that Hari Seldon has left Ignis to go to Star's End, a mysterious location where he plans to create the Second Foundation, a secret group of psychohistorians who will guide humanity through the coming Dark Age. Salvor is skeptical about Tellum's motives and Harry Seldon's whereabouts. She decides to investigate what is really going on at Ignis, while Gaal is more interested in learning how to use her mental powers from Telemann. Gaal reveals that she is actually a mentalic herself, and that she has been sent by Harry Seldon to infiltrate Ignis and find out their secrets. She also tells Salvor that she can see the future, and that Salvor will play a crucial role in saving the Foundation from a crisis. Meanwhile, on Trantor, the capital of the Galactic Empire, Brother Day, Lee Pace, the current emperor, is preparing for his political marriage with Queen Sarath, Ella Ray Smith of Anacreon, rebellious planet that he hopes to pacify with this alliance. However, Sarath has other plans. She wants to bring down Brother Day from the inside and expose his corruption and cruelty. She also knows that Brother Day and Demersal Laura Byrne, his loyal advisor and lover, are hiding a secret Demersal, is actually a robot who has been serving the Empire for centuries. Seraph tries to enlist the help of Brother Don, Cooper Carter, the youngest clone of Brother Day who is supposed to inherit his throne someday. However, Brother Don has his own problems. He is not a perfect clone of Brother Day, but rather a hybrid of human and spacer DNA. He was secretly altered by Hober Mallow, Tom Riley, a spacer agent who wants to undermine the Empire's power and influence. Hober Mallow also arrives at Home Swarm, the space station of the Spacers, where he offers them a deal. He will provide them with Opalesk, a rare substance that they need for their survival, in exchange for their support for the Foundation. Back on Ignis, Salvor discovers that Tellum is not telling the truth about Harry Seldon, she finds his dead body in a hidden chamber, along with a holographic message from him. He explains that he came to Ignis to recruit some mentalics for his second foundation project, but he was betrayed and killed by Tellum, who wanted to use his psychohistory for her own agenda. He also reveals that he chose Salvor as his successor, and that she is the key to saving the foundation from an impending attack by the Empire. Salvor is shocked by this revelation, but before she can react, she is confronted by Tellum and Gaal. Tellum admits that she killed Harry Seldon, and that she plans to use Gale as her puppet to control the Second Foundation. She also reveals that she has been manipulating Salvor's mind all along, making her see visions of her father and her past. She tries to kill Salvor with her mental powers, but Salvor resists and fights back. The episode ends with a cliffhanger. Salvor manages to activate a device that Harry Seldon left for her, which sends out a signal to Star's End. However, this also alerts Brother Day and Demersal on Trantor, who realize that Harry Seldon's plan is still in motion. They decide to launch an attack on Terminus, where they believe Star's End is located. Salvor realizes that she has just triggered the crisis that Harry Seldon predicted, and that she has to sacrifice herself to save the Foundation. So what did you think of this episode? Did you like the twists and turns? Did you feel sorry for Salvor? Do you think she will survive? 
And what do you think will happen in the finale? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more Foundation reviews. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.